Welcome to this video in the search for better health topic. This video is going to be looking at syllabus.9.4.42. Identify antigens as molecules that trigger the immune response. So this is a fairly straightforward dot point as it basically tells us what we need to do in the dot point. So let's have a quick look. So antigens, as it says in the dot point, are any molecule that the body recognizes as foreign that triggers the immune response. Okay, so foreign means that they're just not part of us. So antigens are actually found on the surface of all cells. So cells that belong to our body also have antigens on their surface. However, our immune system is able to identify them as being ours because they have these self markers on them. Usually our immune system will not attack cells marked as self in order to keep our body functioning normally. However, if you have an autoimmune disease, what that basically means is your immune system is continuously attacking your own body cells. So in particular, a, a fairly common autoimmune disease is known as rheumatoid arthritis, where the immune system attacks the cells of the joints and leads to swelling, inflammation, immobilization in the joints, usually in the hands. And it can be quite painful and quite um, distressing for people that have that particular disease. So pathogens entering the body will have chemical markers, which are the antigens on their surface. And the great thing is our body is able to recognize them as non-self. So these non-self markers are the ones that trigger the immune response. So as we can see in the picture, the antigen is the yellow structure and on its surface, it has these marker molecules. Now, these blue Y-shaped structures at the bottom here are known as antibodies. So we'll start looking at antibodies once we get into the immune response. So antibodies are produced by plasma cells, and their, um, their structure is designed to perfectly fit with the antigens that the body is exposed to. So the antigens um, come into the body, and these antibodies match with them. And basically, by forming what's known as an antigen-antibody complex, the antibody renders the antigen useless and then we have the other processes such as phagocytosis happen where the macrophages come and ingest those um, pathogens which have been rendered useless. So um, before we move in or any further as well, what I wanted to do was for you to have a look at the difference between the circulatory system and the lymphatic system. So the lymph system plays a major role in our immune response. So it's good to have an idea of the difference between the two. So when we're talking about the lymph system in the next couple of um, lessons, in the next couple of videos, you have an idea of what we're talking about. So this is just a Venn diagram to show the similarities and the differences between the two systems. I'm going to go through all of it because hopefully we remember what the circulatory system is and how it works and the parts that make up the circulatory system from junior science. <coughs> Excuse me. But the similarities between the circulatory system and the lymph system are that they're both obviously a system that circulates fluid of some kind. Okay, and the, these fluid are contained within vessels. So with our lymph system, they're made up of a range of lymphatic ducts as well as our lymph nodes, which are found in... Um, We've got them in our throat, under our arms, in our uh, thoracic cavity, so in our chest cavity, in our groin, in our stomach area. Okay, so wherever there's major arteries, we have um, lymph nodes nearby because their job is to filter the lymph. So the, um, the lymph carries the waste products, the dead cells, the antigens, which are combined with the antibodies in order for them to be destroyed by the B and the T cells that are stored within those lymph nodes. Okay, so that's as far as I'm going to go with the difference and the similarities between the circulatory and lymph system. At the moment, we'll be looking at the lymph system in much more detail in the next couple of videos. So that brings us to the end of this video. So thank you for watching.